Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the elevated Smith machine lunge. This is a great exercise to build unilateral strength, which basically means even strength on each leg. You just basically switch, and the Smith machine is a great piece of equipment to do it. So I recommend that you set up the bar a little bit um, lower than your ex with your body extended standing up straight. You want a little bit lower with your knees bent, and also set up your safeties at the lowest portion of your lunge. Now, once you're in position, uh, get a box. I would say that's around like, you know, 12 inches tall or something like that. It's going to give you way more than enough room to go deep into that lunge. Now, this exercise is going to be working your quadriceps, but it's actually going to be working your glutes a lot because you're going deep into that lunge. And what that's going to do is is going to put a lot more pressure on your glutes at the bottom position than it would at your quads. So, and it does work your quads. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying that if you really want to get a little bit of both and even more on the glutes, then I recommend this variation. It's also very safe, by the way. Um, now, once your foot is placed on the box, a steady, hard box, then you want to make sure that your feet are straight. You don't want to be with your toes elevated or anything like that. Keep your foot straight. The whole part of your foot should be touching the, the 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 step there. It should not be like on your heels on that front foot. Now on the back foot, you just want to stay on your toes. And you want to mainly think about pushing that working leg, which is basically the leg that's on the box, as much as possible. You want to use that back leg simply to just kind of like balance your body. Um, because if you're using both legs equally, then it's kind of like, okay, what are we doing here? So just try to really use that front leg as much as possible. Then, you know, you do whatever repetitions that you want to do and you switch. Now, notice that the box is not directly under the machine. It has to be out. Just like any, you know, squat or um, lunge that you're doing in the Smith machine, your legs cannot be directly under you. If you if it, if it is, then you're just going to end up folding on yourself, which, you know, that hurts. So you don't want to do that. Also, you want to make sure that the knee is tracking over the toe on that front foot and that your thigh on that back foot is coming straight down. So it shouldn't be coming forward. If it's coming forward, you need to take a, a little step back with the back foot. Uh, you want it to come straight down. You don't want it to move forward or backwards. So make adjustments accordingly. Now, here are some common mistakes that I see people make usually. First one is like limited range of motion. Um... This is not horrible, but you want the full range. Also, if that back leg is too far forward, then that's what's going to end up happening to your knee. It's going to start like coming in uh, towards the box, and you might even hit it. So try to avoid that. Another common mistake is with your toes elevated on the box there. You don't want that. You want it flat completely. And also, the bar placement matters. So that's basically where you want the bar. Um, you don't want it up on your neck because that's obviously going to hurt. And you don't want it too far down on your back because then it's going to start causing shoulder pain over time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. And if you want to take it a step further and work with us or support the channel further, there are a few ways you could do that down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.